We realize that an infant turns blue in the face in a few seconds' time. He cannot breathe well. Perhaps a foreign object is blocking his airways. The international guidelines provide information to know what to do correctly. A precious piece of advice. We must avoid pulling back his head, but rather facilitate the infant in clearing the airways by himself. We will begin the rescue maneuvers, placing a hand around the infant's jawbone, turn him face down on our knee, securing him, and we'll give five slaps between the shoulders without hitting the head. We will turn the infant face up, placing him on our knee again, and we'll perform five compressions at the center of his breastbone between the nipples. We will continue alternating five slaps and five compressions until the foreign object is expelled or until the advanced rescue team arrives. Normally, these maneuvers will free the airways without any consequences. But if it is not so and the infant loses consciousness, we will begin the CPR as prescribed by international guidelines. We will place the infant on a flat surface, possibly elevated, uncover his torso and begin immediately with the resuscitation procedure. 30 compressions alternated with two ventilations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Head in neutral position. First ventilation, second ventilation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. When there are two rescuers, the protocol prescribes 15 compressions alternated with two ventilations. 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Resuscitation maneuvers will continue until there are signs of circulation recovery or upon arrival of advanced rescuers.